So it's about 9, 10 in the morning and I'm frustrated because I ran out of fabric for the uh, t-shirt quilt and I have not been able to find the white with black polka dot flannel anywhere. Um, I went to Joann's over the weekend to get it, couldn't find it there. So I think we're going to take a trip to Hobby Lobby. Um, I also need to get some more of that uh, steam seam tape. Um, I like to use that on um, to hold down the uh, the binding and also some of the strips. I'm finding that to be a little easier than messing with the glue. Um, although the glue is fine to use. If you use that, that's great. It works. Um, I just find that the steam seam holds it down a little bit better for me. My quilt right now is extremely heavy because of the weight. Um, I have no idea why t-shirt quilts get so heavy, but doggone it, they sure do. So um, I will also be showing you how I use my dog grooming set that I purchased off of Amazon to hold that weight while I sew so that I don't have all of that weight falling down on me and um, it makes it easier to, to guide the fabric through the actual sewing machine as we go along. So I will be showing you how to do that, but we're gonna go and take a quick field trip, I think over to Hobby Lobby, because I wanna check and make sure that they don't have it, or I hope they have it, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I have to get that steam a seam, and if not, if they don't have the fabric that we're looking for, then we are going to have to improvise. So I still have a little bit of the black flannel with white polka dots, not much, but a little bit, um, that we can quite possibly use for, um, it'll just have to be, it'll just be mismatched on the strips. And then I will have to do an improvisation of um, black flannel for the binding. <laughs> so it's going to be a hodgepodge again. <laughs> anyway, that's what we do here. We run out, we can't find something, we improvise. So today is no exception. That's what we're going to do. Um, I want to get out there and get this done early. It is supposed to snow here today in Colorado. Yay, first snow of the season. Um, and so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take a quick field trip. All right, so we are here and we are gonna go in the store. I'm gonna try and record in the store. I don't know how well that will go, um, but hopefully we'll be able to find what we're looking for. Look what I found. Close enough. We're going to get it. All right, so that was 
a fun trip. <laughs> oh my gosh, I spent way too much money, but that's okay. Um, anyway, so I got some things that I needed. I got that fabric. got the fabric for the baby gift. I got the lantern that I've been talking about getting for a very long time, but just haven't just haven't done it, but I did today. I finally just did it. Um, and I'm excited because I can put stuff in it for Christmas. Like I collect Santa dolls and I also collect um, nutcrackers. And so I can put my Santas in there. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I got some uh, fall decor for my table. Um, my dining room table. It was too good to really pass up. They were really cute. It was just kind of like junk stuff, but you know, um, it was like $2.99 less 40%. So it really wasn't too bad at all. I just bought some little trinket things because I like trinkets. And now we're going to head home and then we're going to unload all this stuff. And now we're just going to start working on projects. I am just going to hoop this real quick and I'm going to float the fabric on it because I prefer to float um, my fabric. Okay, so I've got that nice and it's nice and stiff. This piece, I'm going to do the corner piece. So I'm going to do this on the pink. <clears throat> I just spray a little bit of 505 on here. I am using Tearaway Stabilizer. This is light tearaway. So this is just a yard and a half of fabric that I've cut. I cut it of each. I cut it of the pink and then I cut it also of the little, the little deer pattern that I have. I'm just gonna put that on there to help it lay nice and flat. Okay, we're working on the Recoma. I'm just going to save this to the uh, to the computer now. So I want to go in there, and now we're going to choose this this one, and we're going to select OK. Come on. Okay, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to go into design set. We're going to choose our hoop. That's the hoop we're going to work with. Everything looks good. Click OK. And then I am going to escape. I'm going to come over here. We're going to choose our color. Oh, I am so sorry. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We're gonna do a real quick test to make sure that we're in, in bounds here because we wanna make sure everything is good. I put down a little bit of water soluble stabilizer because we are working with font. Um, and now we're gonna check and make sure that we are in bounds here so that we don't go out of bounds with our design. Okay, I want to make sure we're not hitting anything here. I'm going to do that again. Okay, we're good. All right, so I'm just going to press start and we're going to we're going to put the name on here.
All right. So I've unhooped. You can see we have the, the name on there. Looks really cute. Pull this off. Can also wet it to make it come off since it's water soluble. But at this point, I can just pretty much scrape that off. Come on. I'll get that with a water bottle, but it turned out really cute. That is perfect. All right, so usually I would make sure that I have all of this cleaned off, all of the stabilizer on the back, and I would trim all the threads. But since this is just going to be sandwiched in between another piece of fabric, I am not going to worry about that at this point. So I'm gonna put these together and we are going to stitch it. All right, so now I'm gonna put these together. So I am just going to do right sides facing each other. I'm not doing any batting or anything like that. I am just putting them together just like that. And I'll use a couple clips just to hold it kind of in place. Nothing too crazy. Just straightening this out a bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to just kind of clip around this a little bit and then I will take it over to the sewing machine and I will sew all the way around the whole entire blanket and I will leave an opening probably about this big down at the bottom and that is where I will flip the blanket through. Okay, so I have flipped the blanket inside out. I left that opening. That's the opening we need to close it. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, but first I'm gonna press the seam so this will lay down nice and flat because what I want to do is I'm going to top stitch all the way around the blanket to finish it off. And once I'm finished with that, I will come back and show you how incredibly beautiful this blanket is. Okay, so I have finished with the blanket. Um, I used a yard and a half of fabric, of each fabric. I made a really cute little, um, I would call it a receiving blanket. It's made out of 100% cotton, both pieces are. And I embroidered the baby's name on the back. So this baby that is coming, her name is going to be winter and you can see that there it turned out so cute just so cute just a nice little touch to add to the back of the the little blanket i know it's a little bit large i wanted to make this one a little larger this is um like i had mentioned before for a baby in the family so this baby will probably crawl around on this and all kinds of fun stuff so this is what the fabric looks like. Isn't that a darling? So yeah, that's all I did. I just embroidered her name on there and then that's went from there. You can see I top stitched around. Looks really, really nice. Um, I did use Aurifil thread um, for this particular project and I do have to say I am quite happy with it. And my machine seemed to really love it because it didn't skip any stitches at all. Stitching was absolutely perfect on this project. So I'm very happy with that. So if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to share, please do so because sharing is caring. Don't forget to click that little bell. You get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video and keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time.